Good evening. The statue of the Virgin Mary that stood here on that fateful day 64 years ago is back home again. Thanks to the Chicago Fire Department and those who survived that terrible blaze are eternally grateful. We have to honor our classmates and our sisters that lost their lives. Larry Source and fellow survivors at the very place where the Our Lady of the Angel School once operated. It is a privilege to be with you today on this holy ground. This sacred place where so many perish, now housing the mission of Our Lady of the Angels, serving thousands of needy families a year with the Blessed Mother statue once again greeting visitors when they step in the door at 3814 West Iowa. Pulls at the heartstrings, <laughs> let's put it simply. Pulls at the heartstrings. I've only cried, uh, I got here at 9.30 this morning. Uh, I've only cried probably about a dozen times so far. Members of the Chicago Fire Department who moved the sacred statue to the Church of the Holy Family on Roosevelt back in 99 after it fell in disrepair on the move again, bringing the statue of Mary back to West Humboldt Park. Firefighter escorts carefully delivering the fragile 300 pound Italian marble statue back to where she belongs. A Chicago firefighter lifting a third grader from the maternity BVM school to place a crown of flowers on the statue's head. The Archbishop of Chicago with his flock honoring the 95 who perished all those years ago. Brothers and sisters, welcome to all of you here. We've gathered today to welcome this statue of Mary back home. The Sisters of Charity of the Blessed Virgin Mary Religious Order doing good works here in this community, working with families in need as well as providing food pantry services for the community. In West Humboldt Park, Julian Cruz, WGN News. It is the final day of Williams Syndrome Awareness.